So we're going to start round 12 with Iceman making a ranged attack on Loki, 10 on an 18. He rolls a 4, that's going to miss. Loki is going to return the attack, 10 on a 17, doing 3 damage, and he has probability. That is a 9, that's going to hit. First figure to be KO'd in round 12, Iceman by Loki. Mysterio is next to Drax, but... Because Drax has invulnerability, Mysterio is going to try to break away because he cannot do damage. So he needs a 4 through 6, and he has probability. He misses that, so he'll prod his break away. He rolls a 4, so he does break away. Mysterio just walked around the north side of Drax and slipped in, hindering terrain on the other side of R Mystique. There is a wall there, so they are not adjacent. It is Drax's turn. He has charge, and he has five range. There is no one he can charge on to other than Mysterio. He is actually going to make a ranged attack on Emma Frost. Her defense is a 16. Going through Henderin would be a 17. So he has a 10 on a 17 for two damage. He's going to make a ranged attack on her. He rolls a 10 that is going to hit. She gets to roll for super senses. She evades the attack. She rolls and hits. Emma Frost is going to use her outwit to outwit Mystique. And then she is going to target her 9 on a 16. She has Psychic Blast. First, let's do the shape change. She misses, so the attack will be on Mystique. Needing a 7. That's a six and that misses. Due to the placement for Mystique, she has run and shot, but she will not be able to run and shot out of there. So she will just stay there and make a ranged attack on Emma Frost. 10 on a 16, but she has super sense. And that's gonna miss. The Covert Avenger is gonna make a close combat attack. 10 on an 18, though Electra will perplex up her defense, like always, like I said, and so that'll be a 19, so she'll need a 9. And that's a 9. Electra was attacked, so it's going to be her turn. She took damage, and now she ended it up on Close Combat Expert, so she has a 9 attack on a 17, so she'll need an 8, but this will do 4 damage. And Covert Avenger has shape change, so she will get to roll that first. Shape change. She misses. Now for the attack. That's going to miss. It is Moonstone's turn. She is going to make a ranged attack on Giant Man. It'll be an 8 on a 14 for 2 damage. That's a 7. That's going to hit. Second figure to be KO'd in round 12. Giant Man by Moon. So it's Daredevil's turn. He is going to make a close combat attack on Medusa with close combat expert. 8 on a 16 for 4 damage. That's a 9. I think that's going to do her in. After a very surprising attack in that hit, Daredevil knocks out Medusa. This is the third figure of this round. It is Spider Girl's turn. She is going to make a close combat attack on Venom. 10 on a 17 for 2 damage. That is going to hit for 2 damage. Venom's attack went up to an 11 attack. He still has 3 damage. He is going to make a close combat attack on Wolverine. Wolverine has plus 3 to all of his stats because there was 3 figures KO'd this round. So it will be 11 on a 21. He needs a 10 to do 3 damage. And that is a 9 that's going to miss. Wolverine is going to use Flurry, and he is not going to use Blades, because last turn he used Blades and it ended up poorly. So he will have a 13 attack and 5 damage. First attack is going to be on Venom. Was a 6. That is going to hit for 5 damage, minus toughness. And the second attack will be on Spider Girl. She has an 18 and Super Senses, so it'll be a 13 on 18, needs a 5 for 5 damage. That is a 5, but we get to roll Super Senses. That's a 3, that misses, so it'll do 5 damage. I have Skullbuster here, he's gonna make a ranged running shot attack on Viper, using running shot Psychic Blast. One, two, three. 
It'll be a 10 on a 17, but she has shape change. That is a miss on the shape change, so we make the attack. 10 on a 17. That is a six that misses. Viper will now make a ranged attack on Skullbuster. 10 on a 17. That is a six and that misses. Archangel is gonna make the last attack this round using Hypersonic and his special blades. He will zip over to Emma, make a 10 on a 16. She has super senses. That is a crit hit, which is gonna be amazing. Let's see the super senses. She misses super senses. So now we get a plus one from the crit on this blades roll. Well, that's good. That's a one on the blades and a one for the crit hit and she'll get knocked back. So that's two damage. Emma gets knocked way back there. And that concludes round 12. Start of round 13, we have Electra making a close coming attack on Covert Avenger. Needs 18. So we have shape change. Misses that. Here's the roll. That is gonna hit. This is an interesting move. Because Emma got hit, she got knocked onto Willpower, and she will use Willpower to use Mind Control on Archangel. A nine on a 17. That is gonna hit, so she Mind Controlled Archangel. Archangel has a Hypersonic Blades move. Archangel will go after Nightcrawler using the Blades. 10 on an 18, there also is Shape Change. So Shape Change first, misses that. Needs an eight, and that's a miss. Emma decided to put Archangel next to Mystique and Mysterio just because I thought that would probably be very interesting. Archangel, with all of his bonuses, he's gonna have a 14 attack, six damage, he's gonna run in shot, one, two, three, four, five, and make a shot on Drax using Psychic Blast. This is definitely gonna wreck him. It's a five, that's gonna hit and do six damage psychic blast. First figure to be KO'd in round 13, Drax by Archangel. Nightcrawler is gonna use hypersonic and carry and target Spider Girl, 10 on a 15. She has super senses. It's gonna hit, super senses roll. She makes it. Nightcrawler is gonna scurry all the way back there. And our final attack for round 13, Skullbuster is gonna target Viper with Psychic Blast. Needs a seven. She has Shape Change. Because she made her Shape Change, he has a choice to make another ranged attack targeting someone else, but he has to be within line of fire. And that person is Archangel. So it'll be a 10 on a 18 now with Psychic Blast. So six and a misses. This concludes round 13. I'll clear everyone else. Covert Avenger at the start of round 14 is going to make a Flurry attack on Electra, nine out of 15. That is gonna hit for two damage. First figure to be KO'd in round 14, Electra by Covert Avenger. Mysterio needs to try to break away again and find someone that he can actually damage. So he's gonna try to break away here. He doesn't do that, he's gonna prob it. He rolls it again, he's not going anywhere. Daredevil, now that he doesn't have Medusa next to him, is gonna make a ranged attack on Spider-Girl Eight on a 15. That's gonna miss. Spider Girl is gonna make a close coming attack on Wolverine because there's only been one figure KO'd, so he only gets a plus one to his stats. It's gonna be an eight on a 19. That is gonna miss though. Wolverine is gonna use Flurry again, but he will only have an 11 and three damage. This time he will use Blades. First attack will be on Spider Girl. Needs a four. Rolls that with knockback, but she gets super senses. Misses that, gonna roll for blades. That is a three. Second figure to be KO'd, Spider Girl by Wolverine, which would make Wolverine stats go up again. Making the second attack, 12 on a 16, doing four damage. He'll use blades again. That is gonna hit, doing five damage. Venom the third victim for round 14 by Wolverine. Moonstone is going to play spoiler and make a ranged attack on Skullbuster from across the map. 
8 on a 17 for 2 damage. And that's going to hit. Wow. This is going to be huge. Mystique and Archangel have the same point value. But this is going to be very huge because Mystique, if she gets to go first, she can outwit Hypersonic to keep him there. But if he goes, then he can get away before she can use out wit. So what I'll do is I'll do a roll off to see who gets to go first. Highest number will get to go first. So this will be for Mystique. That's a three. This is Archangel. That's a four. Archangel will go first now. So he will use Hypersonic and Blades. But the first attack will be on Mystique. She has Shape Change and he has an... She has an 18 defense. Shape change. She misses that. And it hits. Now he will roll blades for three damage on Mystique. Mystique KO'd by Archangel is the fourth figure to be KO'd in round 14. Archangel will just move into the spot where Mystique was because the map is still kind of congested and that's a decent spot to get away from figures. Viper is gonna make a ranged attack on Skullbuster. 10 on a 17. It's gonna miss. Loki is now gonna phase through the wall and base Moonstone. This concludes this round and we'll clear the figures. That concludes round 14 and I cleared everyone. So we're gonna start round 15. Emma will attempt to mind control Archangel, but due to all of the bonuses from the KOs, she's gonna need a crit hit to mind control him, but that's the only figure she can see. So she's